Hey Cancer, it's me, Sagittarius Soul Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and do your guys' February 2021 reading for love related, okay? So it's going to be the past, present, and future reading when it comes to love for February. So what I'm going to do is like the past could be like the beginning of this month or last month, okay? Or even a little bit of last year. Present is like today that I'm doing this video or like within this week. And then the um, future could be like the end of this month going into next month, okay? So it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Cross Watcher of Cancer, okay? Or um, So watch this video for whoever you're dealing with or whoever you're thinking about, okay? And that could resonate for the video, all right? So make sure you guys like and subscribe and comment down below. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the um, pass first. All right, so what's going on with Cancer in the past in regards to love? Got my moon cards here. Okay, expect powerful change. New moon eclipse, okay? So you could have been um, expecting some kind of change happening in the past here. Yes, psychic tarot oracle card. Okay, we have heartache and loss, number three. So like the three of swords here. Okay, so you're expecting powerful change maybe because of a situation that ended. You're wanting some kind of healing or changing from this. You want to feel like you've learned a lesson. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. We'll go ahead and do three shuffles for the past and love for cancer. I feel like you're in the past you were going through some kind of heartache or something that just hurt you a lot. Some pain. Maybe something you didn't see coming. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this here. So I got the Wheel of Fortune. Six of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Okay. So what I feel from here is like you have new things going your way. Maybe you have new people that, you're, that you met okay, in the past here. Or new things are taking place. New changes in your life. But you're still like, afraid of like walking away from something here. Okay. And I feel like if you haven't, like, walked away from something, um, you just haven't really spoke the truth to somebody, okay? You haven't really spoke the truth about how you're feeling. And it's like you just haven't made any progression, okay? But I feel like you have the ability, too. You have the ability to have change, okay, in the past here. But you still are, like, in, like you're kind of stagnant with your energy. You're not wanting to, like, improve anywhere, okay? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Cancer in the past? Okay, Six of Cups reverse Could have been with, like, a person you had children with. It's like this um, cycle still hasn't really... You're still not really healing from this here. With the Two of Swords, it could have been indecision, as well as the Three of Wands reverse. Could have been to a point where you aren't wanting to wait around for this person anymore because you just feel like things are kind of a lost cause. Why is this wrong? I don't know, baby. Um... You feel like this person maybe had other choices or you had other choices and you're not really wanting to wait around for this anymore. But I feel like with the Six of Swords in reverse, you still haven't really gone anywhere else. Like you haven't really went down other directions. Okay, because then you got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's like maybe you're still kind of at a point where you're not really moving on. You're still kind of lacking with your finances. Okay, or you feel just very like stuck and that's why you can't move on. All right, the Empress in reverse, and the High Priest is reversed. So it's like you're not really trusting yourself here. You're not trusting yourself to walk away. Okay, maybe you're taking more time to, like, kind of fix yourself, but there's still things within you that need fixed, okay? Or you're not wanting somebody to help fix you or tr um, take care of you here because you still haven't really walked away or accepted the truth here is what I'm seeing. I feel like you're not trusting your own judgment as well when it comes to maybe things you're doing. Okay, the Ace of Swords in reverse. I got the Queen of Cups reversed. I feel like you're kind of detached or emotionally unavailable when it comes to your feelings. Um, I feel like you maybe had like a person that you met in the past here. And like things could have like went that way, but you just weren't opening up to this person. Okay, or you didn't really trust that it was the right thing to do to open up to this person. Because you still haven't walked away from somebody yet. Or you still were dealing with somebody that you saw potential with, alright? Yeah, the Eight of Cups reverse. I feel like you weren't emotionally interested in another person. I feel like you had two people here because you have the Two of Swords. So I feel like you had the person from your past you were dealing with and then maybe a new person with the Wheel of Fortune. You had new things coming your way, 
but you weren't really telling this person how you felt because you weren't able to. You weren't able to open up. You weren't able to walk away from this person in the past, okay? The person that maybe you had children with is what I'm seeing, okay? I feel like you didn't tell this person the truth. You kind of were just keeping them around because they were there, okay? But I feel like I feel like you, it's kind of weird energy. I feel like you're not waiting around for this person maybe that you have children with. But it also, you're not wanting to like move on from your life. You're still just kind of in a stagnant energy hoping maybe things will change. They'll come back around. Okay? I feel like you're not detaching your emotions from the past person. But maybe you're emotionally unavailable for somebody else. Okay? Let me go ahead and get some romance cards here. But I feel there is going to be powerful, or there was powerful changes in the past here. Release your ex. That was your, I feel like that was your problem. Is like you had somebody that could have given you happiness, success, but you still were like dealing with an ex person here. It could have been a person you had children with, or just a person from your past that you spent a lot of time with, a lot of stuff here. You deserve love. Okay, you could have been to a point where like you weren't wanting this, whatever this person was wanting to give you because you wanted... You needed to heal yourself and you still were kind of dealing with an ex-person here, okay? Is what I'm seeing. Let me go ahead. Let me get some messages about what could have happened in the past. Okay, one second. So here's some past messages. Let me... My cards flew on the floor. But yeah, the first one that fell was I'm trying to leave. So I feel like you, in the past, you were trying to leave, trying to walk away, but your heart was still maybe set on this person and you just couldn't leave. Okay, I won't wait forever, make your choice. That's what somebody could have been saying to you in the past. And I see you. Okay, it could have been a person that you've seen a lot, um, like out in public. You could have seen this person a lot out in public, but they like maybe were kind of starting to get impatient because they wanted something to progress but you just weren't ready because you weren't emotionally available for this person okay this is kind of a tough reading all right so far whoo i feel the energy of that okay let me go ahead and do um in the current moment so current energy for so, cancer that's not so that's double uh-huh yeah it all right let's go ahead and do in the current energy for cancer and love here so we have a win-win outcome as in forecast, full moon in Libra. Okay, let's see what else we got. So that's looking good. So some kind of good outcome. Ooh, okay. So I got crown chakra, number seven, and I have harmony, number six. So it's like you're thinking a lot about this person. The crown's like your mind, your thinking. Okay, so like your feelings and stuff. So you feel like there's harmony with this person. Okay, you feel like things are maybe starting to come your way. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot and see. I feel like you're going to have, you're starting to have harmony. You're starting to feel peace with yourself. All right, things are starting to feel a little bit better. Okay, I also got, like the messages I get, I get from the cards, I got pink and purple. So this person, maybe they're very like a fun, vibrant person. Or they love the color pink, they like the color purple. Whoever you're dealing with, that could be some symbols here. Okay. I see light pink and purple, and then I see bright purple, and then some pink. So, if that rings a bell to anybody. Alright, let's see currently for Cancer. Five of Cups, okay. Two of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands. Okay, this is, this is looking good in a way because you got the Five of Cups, so you're feeling, like, regret for, like, whatever happened, maybe with that person from the past. Not the person that you were thinking about in the past, but I feel like the person that, like, you were kind of involved with but couldn't be open to, I feel like you're regretting the things that you did, okay, or the way that you handled the situation. Because then I got the Two of Swords in reverse, I feel like you finally are making a decision what you're wanting. And you're wanting to, like, reach out and speak to this person and bring some kind of, you know, things closer. You don't want to be distant from this person. All right, Five of Cups here. I feel like if you did have two people, like, that decision's over. You already realized who, you, who you're wanting, okay? The Five of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups. You want, like, a brand new start with this person. You want new, you want to put your emotions and love into this person, okay? Because you feel a lot of regret about what you did in the past. And you're wanting a new start. 
All right, the hair fit in reverse. You could have just been not really ready. Um, let me see. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're wanting this wish fulfillment with this person. I feel like you still haven't really learned um, some lessons, though, when it comes to, like, what maybe you did. You haven't really learned lessons. But I feel like you're still wanting with the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. You're wanting this wish fulfillment with this person. You see this person as your wish fulfillment, and you feel, like, a lot of regret for what you did. Okay, I feel like if you did have two people, I feel like you've made your choice. You've made a decision. You don't want to be in and out of this person's life. Because I feel like in the past, you were very, like, inconsistent with this person. Maybe you guys didn't speak much. You were just kind of there every now and then. You didn't really give much of your time or energy to this person. Okay? I got the King of Wands in the reverse. I got the Two of Swords. I feel like you're still kind of not sure what you want to do. Like, you've made your decision what person you want, but you're still kind of not sure what to do when it comes to your actions. Okay? Or maybe you feel like this person's not into it. I feel like you feel like this person's not as, like, interested in you now anymore because they're the Queen of Wands and they have all these people interested in them. They're very attractive. Okay, we got the King and the Queen of Wands. So... Um, this definitely is like a power couple, but I feel like you almost feel kind of defeated now. Like, like almost like you've lost your chance is what I'm seeing. Like now it's like because of your indecis um, indecisiveness in the past, you feel like now this person currently, they're not really into you anymore. Maybe they look like they have it all together. They have other people involved with them. Okay. The Eight of Wands. I feel like this is making you want to reach out. Okay. All right. With the Eight of Swords reverse, you don't want to be stuck in your head about this anymore. Okay, you're ready to, like, release the worry of this here and just get things fixed. All right, Seven of Cups in reverse. Like, you realize, like, there's no more confusion anymore. You realize, like, what you're wanting. There's maybe no other options anymore. You don't have an other people that you're seeing, other people involved in this connection. But now it's kind of the situation your person might, okay, or this person might. Hermit reverse. You're kind of still, like, stuck, Mommy. like, what to do with your energy. Um, what, baby? Um, I like some toast in there. Okay, okay. I fed this kid, I swear. I already fed him five things. But, um, Brayden, okay, just come on. The Hermit in Reverse, I feel like you're still kind of doing some self-reflection or you're still kind of, like, isolating your energy from this person currently because you, you're not really sure what to do now. You feel like you've kind of lost your chance is what I'm seeing. Okay, you've lost your chance at this person now might have other people that they're involved with okay we have finances and career we have factor children attraction make the effort so i feel like children maybe were a problem and maybe both of you guys decides or just one of you children could be the factor here okay but i feel like there's a lot of attraction maybe money was a problem too but if somebody wants to make the effort okay and I feel like it's you that wants to make the effort. I feel like you realize, like, you want to make the effort here. Maybe the other person, they were making all the effort. And now you realize in order to get this person's attention, you need to do something. Okay? Let's see. The lover's oracle we have is trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Okay? So it's like you need to kind of accept what's currently going on. All right? And try to, like, figure out a way to fix it. Because I feel like maybe you are kind of stressing yourself out about this a little bit. Or feeling like worried and scared like oh man I lost this person now this person's not gonna be in my life anymore I feel like you want this new start this wish fulfillment with this person but you're not really sure how they're feeling at this moment okay Cause maybe they've kind of not talking to you let me get some cards all right so let me see what else like is going on here in the current moment so I will show you divinely guided past you can be honest, you are safe, and then whispers from the past. Okay, so definitely I feel like you've dealt with this person for a while. Maybe like with the Five of Cups, you're thinking about this person and like things that you would say to each other in the past. Maybe hurtful things you guys said to each other. Okay, and it's like you're thinking about that here and it's like you want to show this person love. Okay, let's see what signs you guys could be dealing with cancer currently or in the past. What signs you guys could have been dealing with or are dealing with. Okay, we have Libra, we have the Earth signs, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, the Sun sign could be Libra or an Earth sign. It could be a Sagittarius, so this could be their Sun sign. The Sun could be Libra, Earth, or Sagittarius. Okay, so really we have like, okay, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius. So five people here, okay? 
as well as I have Pisces and Cancer on the back, and then Scorpio and Aquarius. So it could be any of these people, but I strongly see like it's these people here, okay? These are just other people that it might be. All right. Let me go ahead and do your guys' um, future outcome here. Okay, but make sure you guys take what resonates and let me know down below if this helps you in any way. I'm only here to help you guys in the best good. I'm not trying to make things worse or make you guys upset more. Okay, if you guys are currently stressing, I'm not trying to make you guys more upset. I'm just trying to like figure out, you know, like my way of kind of helping you guys from this. So, before I do your future, I'm going to get another sip of coffee. All right. Let's go ahead now and do your future love reading for Cancer. Take time to breathe out, okay? Like I said, I feel like you're stressing a lot because of this person. Maybe you're scared, like, from the person that you're currently dealing with. Maybe things still aren't progressing and you're starting to get worried, okay? Maybe it's almost like this isn't like this person not to speak to you or act this way and you're kind of wondering what's going on. Okay, let's get more into it, though. Heartache and loss, again, Three of Swords. And you got um, New Beginnings, okay? So you got New Beginnings and Heartache and Loss. So I feel like you feel kind of stuck right now in this energy. You need to take time to breathe, I feel like. I feel like you guys are feeling very stressed. Or like in the future, you guys are going to start feeling like very stressed out because of this. But there is going to be a new beginning, okay? But you feel kind of at loss here. get one more shuffle oh okay we got queen of pentacles all right let me go ahead and get one more shuffle though all right so queen of pentacles you could be focused a lot on wanting to like have materialistic things take care of um, stability or just have this person that you're wanting to take care of here all right we also got the fool so we got new beginnings and the moon okay so i feel like you are at this energy here in the future where you want something new to take place Okay, but you almost feel like it's too good to be true, or you don't really know if you can trust it. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, reversed. That's what I got when I split the deck. But so I feel like you're wanting to like take care of somebody here. You're wanting this Queen of Pentacles. You want somebody that you can spend time with as well as take care of. <clears throat> All right, so Queen of Pentacles. Why is that here for Cancer in the future? Okay, Two of Cups reversed. Ten of Swords well as the six of wands so with this i feel like you feel like there's a separation with a person that was like your soulmate it's causing you a lot of like deception and hurt here because maybe you've seen a um success with this person but you feel like this person maybe they're focused on finances they could be the queen of pentacles and they're not really wanting this connection as much anymore okay or you feel like they're kind of focused more on finances instead of this connection and it's kind of hurting you they're not putting as much time into you anymore because you see a success with this person you feel happy and successful but it's like something of your guys is maybe love life isn't too good the fool why is the fool here there is gonna be something new four of cups i feel like if if there is gonna be something new someone's gonna reject this offer with the king of cups reversed and the high priestess someone's using their intuition to like ignore something here okay maybe someone's just kind of detached and not really the feelings aren't there as much anymore somebody's kind of rejecting an offer okay something new here i feel like it might be you i feel like you are if you have other people that you could have in contact i feel like you are rejecting them because you just don't have the emotions anymore for like any new love okay i feel like maybe you're still kind of torn between this person you're using your intuition okay about not accepting any new love into your life is what i'm saying i feel like you're kind of rejecting that offer or you're just bored and you don't want anything new to come your way all right the moon so i feel like there's like an illusion i'm gonna do like another clarification after this because i feel like what's going on is like you have other choices you can make here with people but you're like rejecting it because maybe you're still or wanting the soulmate connection with this other person all right, the moon, it's like, you feel like something's like an illusion, almost too good to be true. Okay, with the nine of swords reversed, I got the seven of cups. You're like confused about something, the full in reverse. You're confused because you feel like you are like 
failing at a situation, okay? I feel like you're not wanting to be upset about it anymore, but it's still causing you a lot of stress and anxiety. It's still upsetting you. You're confused. You feel like this person maybe isn't as into you anymore, okay? Or someone isn't taking a new change here. All right, I'm going to do a spread and see. I feel like you're kind of in the future. You're kind of upset because you want this person and they're not really as into you anymore. All right, so let's see how this person feels about cancer. Let's get three shuffles. So this person that, like, you're wanting to be with, okay? Let's see, like, how... And it's like, you're, I feel like you're rejecting other people, like, new people in your life because you still want this connection. All right, so let's see one more shuffle. Let's see how can't this person, cancer... One, it's like how they feel about them. How does this person feel about cancer? Okay, five of wands reversed. Nine of pentacles reversed the moon. Okay, well, this person doesn't want to be single. Okay, I feel like they want to be with you here. The nine of pentacles reversed. The moon, they almost feel like... And it's not... I feel like they don't feel like any drama or conflict with you or any competition. But they feel like maybe they're not really sure. They feel like it might be too good to be true or that... It might just be an illusion. Like, maybe you don't actually feel that way about them. They don't really know if they trust how you feel about them. All right, let's clarify. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords. There's a lot of communication. Nine of Wands, Reverse. They feel like they can open up to you. King of Swords, though. I feel like... Um... Like, there is fast communication, but they don't really know if, like, you mean what you say when you say it to them. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, you got the tower. So, they want things to change. They don't want to be single anymore is what I'm seeing. Or they don't want you guys to be able to be single. They want something here. With the Page of Cups, they want this love offer. Okay? The Five of um, Swords here in reverse. They want to speak truth and clarity. They want to be honest with you how they feel. The Moon, I see the, the Fool. They want this new opportunity. Page of Wands, they want to take action here. The Queen of Swords reverse. They might have not been speaking to you or been kind of mad at you because of past situations. All right, but I feel like this person that you're wanting, like they do actually want this. They might just be kind of playing hard to get. Okay, wedding. Okay, this could involve a wedding. You guys could be later on talking about marriage. Stay optimistic about your love life. Let's see if I can get any more. Okay. Now I'm going to do a Lover's Oracle and then Messages in the Future. Whoa, that's all I wanted to slide out. Let's see here. Only Time Will Tell. Then we have Romance, Cupid, Arrow, Strikes. Sacred Union, Honor, and Treasure, Relationship. It is truly sacred. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this, they will manifest physically. Wow, these are all good cards, Cancer. And then let's go ahead and see Messages in the Future. You need to know in the future messages you need to know. So I can't get you out of my head. You are my favorite mistake. I can't get over you. It's hard to let go. You will hear from me soon. Okay, so this person, they definitely have that strong connection with you. All right, let's go ahead and do signs, that sign that they could be. This person Cancer is dealing with or could be dealing with in the future. What sign could they be? Virgo, Aries, or an air sign. And then we have Sagittarius on, on the bottom here. So it definitely could be the same person. Okay, it could be this, because I did get Sagittarius in your present moment or current moment. So it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Virgo, or Sagittarius. I also got Leo on the back as well. All right, so Cancer, take what resonates. Okay, uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys like this reading. Um, but this was um, your February monthly video. Finally, I'm getting it out for you guys. So I um, hope you guys enjoy your day. Um, make sure to like and subscribe like I said. But I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.